Welcome along to the Driffield Show, the biggest one-day agricultural show in the calendar, where it's known for the quality of its livestock in a predominantly cereal growing area of the UK. Three years ago, it also became home to the Fencing News UK Fencing Championships. And that's why we're here today. Fencing is a major industry in the UK with turnover running into the millions of pounds. Here we have some of the finest exponents in their field competing for the biggest prize in the country. Just, for, just to reiterate, we've been through all the rules. You can use water, which is something I admitted before, so you are allowed to use water. You have four hours to do it. There's a bonus for finishing quicker, which has been explained. Uh, work safely. Good luck, and off you go. For a good, clean, safe working, which is obviously essential, uh, we're looking for like the methodology for working, where they work in safe and, and to a rhythm. And then, in actual judging points, we are looking at a, how they attach the wire to the end post, how they do the, the full scale of marks to the joint in the middle of the run, and then the, the, for the general finisher, the like intermediate post and the finish of the fence, it's the line of the fence that way, the straightness of the fence and whether the posts are in firm, they're into the right depth, they're all into the same depth and other words are firm. Now, when the lads are as good as these, we have to get right down to the, the nth degree. The standard here is incredibly high you now. We are, and over the three years, it's been building and building. And you now we've got some of the best fences here in the UK. Well, we're looking for the detail. I think that's the biggest thing. These guys know what they're doing. Uh, we're looking for the little finite details, little nuances about what do they do with the topsoil? How do they tie on? How are they using the tools? Uh, safety comes into it. Comparing it with British standards. Uh, different styles, yes, but at the end of the day, they've got to come up with the same good, good, very good system. Standards are all important. Most, a great deal of contracts are written round British standards. Uh, highways Agency, Min of Ag, these type of things, or DEFRA as we call it now, of course, will refer to British standard so-and-so and that forms the contract, so they are very important. This guy, uh, Ford, he's got it all to lose, I guess, so uh, he's travelled seven hours to get here from down in deepest Devon, I think it is. Uh, he's got a reputation, he's really got to work at it to uh, keep his uh, crown. Thanks a lot, Peter. Right, that's enough from the judges for the time being. Let's find out how things are going. Uh, I would have been a bit more confident if we hadn't the water in the first hole. Uh -huh. I had to dip about three gallon of water at the first hole. But, right. um, see in about an hour's time, how are we getting on, like, you know? <laughs> we're all right, yeah, we're doing all right, yeah. yeah. I'm so confident. <laughs> okay, there's some tough ground this year, somehow. And we're now getting wet. It's at least I'm not sweating now. Gonna get, we're gonna get damp with Jether way. <laughs> That's cooler. Yeah. Cooler. Previous years it's been red hot and you know, no good for working. It's alright, it just keeps you a bit cooler, right? But cold is everything you hold, it's wet, you know, can't hold nothing tight, but no, it's going alright at the moment. Uh, not too bad. <laughs> Do have been a bit further red, but there's a lot of variation. One hole will be fine, and then the next one's just an absolute swine. Oh, it's not about finishing first, it's a matter of doing it right. I reckon there's more swines about, <laughs> but anyway, we'll be all right, we'll get there. It'd be nice to beat Mike, because he seems to have won everything for the last three years. You can't run an event like this without the support of some of the industry's leading suppliers. Calders and Grandridge, ArcelorMittal and Gripple are all involved this year. We've been involved with this for three years now. We basically supplied all the strainers and the posts for the, uh, the competition. 
uh, I think there was about 150 posts and about 50 strainers. These are all treated with AC500, which is the Osmos treatment, which is the one that we use. I'm actually a director of the Wood Protection Association and represent the interests of uh, primarily the creosote group. It's very much involved in legislation. Uh, uh, there's been a lot of adverse publicity at the moment regarding poorly treated fencing materials, particularly posts. Uh, and what we're trying to do is re-educate the, the trade and the general public. There's, there's several issues. It's, it's not just the treatment, it's also the preparation. Uh, firstly, you really want to go for redwood because you've got a nice deep sapwood band and what you're trying to do is to get all the, the preservative into the sapwood. You've got to have the right concentration of treatment as well. You must have the posts uh, fully seasoned before they're treated as well, otherwise you're trying to push the treatment through a barrier of water. These would last at least 15 years. We can do an MOT treatment, which is 30 years, and a marine treatment, which is 50 years. And it just depends on the, uh, on the concentration of preservative. This is the second time when we sponsored a competition at the Driffield Show. And in this year's uh, competition, um, the teams, contracted teams, need to use um, our product um, during the erecting of the fence. Um, in the rules, uh, it is specified uh, that they need to use eight uh, grupal products to do a join, um, one join, and on the high tensile wire, and as well eight T clips to uh, tie the ends at the end posts. It's very important for us to be able to show our presence at such competition with the enthusiasm of the teams, and as well um, they demonstrate the correct usage of our products. The products we are providing are exactly the same as last year, as those are the exact products that uh, contractors would use in that circumstance. Um, however, the difference is um, usage of our products is written into the rules in this year's competition. Um, as well, I believe last year we had one team less. Uh, standard was very high, so I'm looking forward to see the same again this year. They are best, unique and original. Um, there's no other gripple. Arsenal Metal have been sponsoring the wire in the fencing competition for three years since the competition started. It's our two life wire which is guaranteed to last twice as long as wire that's been heavily galvanised. And the way the guys are, 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 are going to be using the wire today, is, is it is any different to the norm? Or, or it... Certainly a lot faster than they would normally do it uh, and probably a lot more by hand. Typically people would use tractors, quads, other mechanical devices but this is a, a test of their the old skills that people have. I think you're seeing a lot of people working very hard. The rain we've had the last couple of days has certainly softened the ground a little will hopefully make it a little easier for digging but it's it's warm work it's not something I'm doing myself. This really is a wonderful show. It attracts over 23,000 and it's not resting back on any laurels either, with a brand new state-of-the-art function centre due to be built next year. David Tite is responsible for the show and the showground. We had a bit of wet weather first thing in the morning, that, so yesterday, so we're sort of recovering from that now. Uh, lots of the, 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 the verges on the, on the actual showground are a bit damaged, so it took us a long time to get vehicles in. But we'll get there. We've got as many pigs as last year, near as damn it. Um, we have got 333 sheep entered and about 177 cattle so I'm happy solid numbers stable for the future. You can see just to the side there we've got a new pond that we've put in uh, someone has coined the name Puddle I'm quite insulted by that personally but uh, we, the intention is to have gun dogs in there the biodiversity partnership of the East Riding uh, doing pond dipping and all sorts of activities throughout the day and we have fly fishing demonstrations supplied by a great company in Pickering first class. And the fencing competition itself though, I mean it's, it's been it's been going well, you've got five teams in it this in it this Absolutely. What do you think yes. it's added to the show? Well it's, it's just another interest isn't it? We want to attract as many people to this show as we possibly can. It's a really interesting activity. The farming population that come to this show are interested in the subject. They, they want to stand there and go, no he's not doing that right, or first class, that's a cracking bit of fencing that. Now I know what you're thinking, how's the competition going? Are we near to finding out this year's champions? Well, let's take a look. So there you go. Nearly three and three quarter hours later, 
and just about all of the fences are complete. Just a few finishing touches. Now, how do the competitors think they've done? We did finish first, yeah. I yeah. think we finished about maybe 10, 15 minutes before Mike. Is that a plan? Did you have a master plan today? Well, the master plan was just to put a fence up, really, at the end of the day. It's, uh, you know. Did the weather slow you? No, the weather was great. At first it was warm, but when the rain came, that was brilliant, because it was just too hot anyway. So We haven't seen rain in Warwickshire for the last four months, really, so it was lovely to get wet. All right, we're just, you know, going along nicely. It's just weather, isn't it? You know, gets you. <laughs> yeah, happy. So third time running, do you think? Mm, no. <laughs> no, no, in the shake up, but no. And now it's the moment of truth. Who's going to be crowned the Fencing News UK Fencing Champion for 2011? Third place, we've got the team on standee, Dan Kitchen. Well done, very well done. Thank you. Very well done. There you go. In, in second place, we've got Mike Ford. Well done, Mike. Thanks. Well done. Very well done. In first place, and incredibly well done, is Mr. Hubbard and company. Very well done. Well done. There you go. Well done. It's a really good event, and someone has to come last every year. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're happy, aren't we? Yeah, that's what we deserve, that's it. All those beaters on time, and you know, that's it. That's it. So, yeah, yeah, rapper. Well, not really, but you know. <laughs> Pleased with that. Um, it was a good, you know, a couple of days. We came up yesterday, so it was a good couple of days out to come out and, you know, compete. But as I say, not getting any younger now. Be <laughs> back again next year? Uh, <laughs> I'll debate that next year. Right. So, Charlie, winners today. Yeah. Was it kind of expected or you, you were no, fairly confident? We know, before, we, we, we're always, we, try, we always just go on the basis you just, you have to go like you're just going to go and do a job and put a fence up you know yeah. obviously, obviously we go a bit faster than normal but yeah. you know it's it's based on that if you if you go getting all stressed out about it there's no point but. Yeah. absolutely fantastic third year on the trot we're so pleased to see this competition coming to us we feel it's a real uh, honor for us to host the competition it's a great asset to us as a show uh, and a real draw for the crowds. The first chairman for it to rain on for 20 plus years, so I'm told, but I think we got the people in early. I think there was a massive volume of people early, which is great for us. It, it, it's a disappointment that it's rained, but there's still a lot of people here. There's still a lot of show to see. And that's it from another excellently run UK fencing competition and a brilliant Driffield show, albeit slightly damp. I think it's time to knock it on the head now, fellas.